guys, so today's look is going to be my natural glam look. This is my go-to look for everything. I talked about it in my main favorites, and I wear this to give presentations to school, go to church, dinner dates, movies, pretty much everything where I don't want to think too hard. I just throw this on and I know it's going to look good. It's so weird how this same look will adapt itself to different situations. So when I give presentations at school, it looks presentable but not overly done. And when I wear the same look to a dinner date, it looks sultry and feminine and just really attractive. It really is a great look to have in your makeup arsenal and the best part is that it's really simple and it will take you about 15 minutes tops. So if you want to learn how to do this look, then stay right there. Don't go anywhere and keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize and the moisturizer that I like to use currently is the Clinique Moisture Surge um, Gel Cream. And I still have a little bit left, like I can still scrape it off the edges. And we're going to do this first so that while we do our eye makeup, this will, you know, sink in. I'm also going to go ahead and apply some chapstick just because my lips are a little bit dry. And I'm going to turn my hair back just so it's not getting in the way. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the brows and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown. And I am going to fill my brows in. Then I like to take some brow gel and this is just one by Ardell. It's not really the best, but it's all I have. And it's just a clear one, but it looks all nasty because, you know, after you use it, like all the product starts to gunk up in there. And then I like to brush my brow hairs up just so it looks like a little messy and a little feathery. So I do these front ones up and then I do these a little bit like diagonal. And then once I fill them in, I like to clean them up just a little bit. So I go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal. And I put a little bit just on the back of my hand. Just a little dollop. Something like that. I take a flat liner brush like this one. Pick up a little bit of that concealer on the flat edge. And then I just go over the lower part and clean up any mistakes and just emphasize that, you know, round shape. And the same thing on the top. And then I just like to dab it down with my finger. So then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. To start off the eyes, what I'm going to do is take the NYX eyeshadow base, and this is in the color Skin Tone. So you want to go ahead and apply that all over the lid. I can't dip my finger in there because my nails. So I'm going to use it with a brush. And I like to use this one because it conceals any darkness on your lids. So it's going to give you a nice, clean base to work with. And it also primes so that the eyeshadows stick down better. So it's a really like a two for one, very similar to the MAC um, paint pot. I'm going to go in with the Naked palette and this original one, it's my favorite palette. It works so well for everyday natural makeup. It's just so versatile, I love it so, so much. I'm going to take a 217 brush as well, which is like a stiff dome blending brush. Not too big, perfect for getting into the crease. Um, I'm going to go in with the color Naked, which is this one right in here. And I'm going to put this into the crease. Now, since I'm not gonna use a highlight color because there's no matte colors in this palette and I don't like to carry more than one palette uh, when I travel and this is my everyday, you know, go-to travel makeup situation, I don't put any highlights. So I wanna keep this crease color as low as possible and not go too far up. So what I'm going to do is just very gently keep it in the crease, which is why we use this smaller brush, uh, well, compared to a fluffy blending brush. I'm trying to look for it, like this one here, because this one, you can't really have too much control over it since it moves so much, you know? So it would get too high up. And this one is more stiff, so they'll kind of stay right in the area where you want it. So I'm just going to do small windshield and circular motions. You feel like most of the product is off your brush. 
uh, you want to start just very gently kind of going a little bit higher but again not too high and just kind of flicking it up just to make a nice gradient then to add a little bit more dimension, I'm going to go in with the color Buck, which is this color here, uh, medium-ish colored brown. Same brush, I'm going to dip the brush into that color. And I want most of this color to be on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm going to circle the brush right into this outer portion. And kind of flick it inwards by doing small like, you know, inward movements. And then when most of the color is here, we're going to windshield wiper into the crease just to keep it, you know, blended and add a little bit more dimension. So go windshield in like you're taking a trip and coming back. Taking a trip and coming back. Then you want to start flicking it upwards into that first transition color just by doing short little flicks just like we did earlier. Like that. And you can intensify the outer corner as much as you want. Just grab more product and go back in. So now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off that brush really, really well because I want to use as few products as possible for this look. And I'm going to go ahead and take the flat edge of that brush and dip it into the color Sin, which is this one right in there. I'm going to dip it in there. And just like I would a flat brush, I'm going to pack it onto my lid area, going in about three-fourths of the way. So right up to there, pretty much where that outer corner color starts. And once you get there, in order to blend it, just go ahead and you know flick it inwards and outwards and inwards just to get a nice seamless blend. Time. I'm going to go into the color say I mean virgin which is that super light color I'm going to use that as an inner corner I'm going to dip the tip of that brush into there and put it right into the inner tear duct So now it's time for some coverage and what I do is I just use concealer most of you guys know this um, I don't use foundation but I do have some very dark dark circles. So I like to correct them first with a peach corrector, but what will happen is that sometimes when I use the corrector and then apply the concealer on top of it, it'll mix together and make like a light peach color that doesn't match with my skin tone. So to prevent that, I use the smallest amount of corrector under my eyes. So it's not going to be like a full coverage, you know, type of thing but it's going to conceal it enough especially when we put the concealer on top you know it'll cover it what i'm going to do to prevent that from happening is that i'm going to take the smallest amount of the corrector so instead of like rubbing some product off i'm going to barely dab my finger in take it off and then i'm going to apply it to the darkest area of my circle so that would be right up in this inner corner here so i'm going to press it on kind of wiggle it in place and then peel it off like a temporary tattoo. Reason for that is I want most of the product to stick right onto there. And then I'm going to go ahead and start blending it out. <laughs> I'm scared to poke my eyes with these nails. So now it's time for some concealer and the one that I'm using at the moment is the Maybelline Master Conceal. Normally the one that I use is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer, but I wanted to try this one plus I'm out of this one. And I feel like they're almost the same. I feel like it's just different packaging. There might be a slight difference in something, but I feel like it's the same concealer. Are you tricking us, Maybelline? Tell me. I'm going to pump some out onto my finger and then I'm just going to dot it in a triangle shape like I normally do. And then I also like to take it on the side of my nose and on my upper lip because I get redness right around there. So after I blend out my concealer, I take the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I'm going to take a dual fiber brush, you know, something that's nice and loose, and that lighter shade, dab it off a little bit, dab down any creasing that I may have, and then immediately 
set my concealer. Same thing on this other side. Dab out any creases and then just set your concealer. I'm also going to set my chin and my forehead and my upper lip. Anywhere where you apply concealer, just go ahead and set that. Then I'm going to use that same palette and use that contouring shade and this uh, small chisel brush. This is from Crown Brush and it's nice and stiff. Now this contour isn't going to give you like an intense, you know, glam, beat face contour. It's going to be more of a, um, like a natural contour and it's just going to break up the two dimensional look to our face and just add a little bit of color. So. You know, if you want super chiseled cheekbones, you're not going to get it from this because it's not extremely pigmented. But for every day, that's perfect. I'm going to start up the contour right up here. And then just blend it back and forth. I'm going to take it up the side of my face, go up onto my temples, and up into the forehead. Now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off that 217 brush extremely well because we don't want any shimmery color on it. I'm going to go back into this contouring side and just put this on the tip of my nose and a little bit on the sides and kind of making a little T, a backwards T. Like that. For blush, I'm taking the CoverGirl Cheekers in the color Natural Twinkle, which is my favorite color, and a blush brush. I'm just going to take that on. Now, sometimes I don't apply highlighter, but today I am because I just watched What Would Lizzie Do? And we all know she's all about that highlighter life. So, today I just feel, you know, extra glowy. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick some highlighter up. This is the MAC. Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and just very softly apply that to the highest point, points of my cheekbones. Bones. Why can't I say that at all? Highest points of my cheekbones. There we go. Like that. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes and then we'll come back to the lips. So taking that flat liner brush one more time, I'm going to wipe it off and get rid of any excess concealer that we have on there. I'm going to pick up the color Buck and we're going to put this on the lower lash line just to add a little bit of shadow and dimension on there. I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes and the ones that I like to use are the uh, Ardell 120 Demis and I've used these quite a few times. I've used this a good like two or three times so hopefully they will still keep a nice shape. I'm going to use the glue by Duo and this is the brush on one. And then we're going to cover up the lash band with a little bit of a liquid liner. The one that I'm using is by NYC. I'm going to do just the thinnest line as possible. To finish off the lips, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off that lip balm or chapstick that we applied in the beginning. I'm taking the NYX lip liner in the color Natural, which is a nude pink brown color. And then I'm just going to use that to line my lips. Then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Bear It All and I'm just going to dab it on. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Until my next video, don't forget that you could follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Remember that wherever you go and whatever you do, always leave your mark.